there we are at Vincent Corporation, Tampa, Florida, 20th of December 2021. We're going to uh, run some pecans. Oh, yeah, I think they're pecans. What are we going to run? Pecans. Pecans, got it. Anyway, here's an air cylinder. We've got it at 80 psi pushing that door shut. Notice the screw is turning. And uh, here you can see the screw turning in the inlet hopper. Set for pretty low RPM. We've got a variable frequency drive over here. Runs off 110 volts, but still we can vary the speed. The screw will push the pecans into the screened area of the press. We expect to get some oil out from the bottom. Okay. I'm going to start up slowly here uh, just to see what happens. We've got enough of a sample to run a time test. This press has a long inlet hopper. Notice it's about 18 inches long. That's more for production than laboratory testing. Well, you can see the screw feeding the pecans into the screened area of the press. Until they get really packed in there, uh, we're not going to get any oil out. Okay, we haven't been running any length of time at all. And look at this. We're getting some oil out here at the end. In the inlet hopper, it's feeding slowly, so uh, gives us our best chance, low RPM. If it really works, you can speed it up, maybe get more throughput capacity. Yep. Cone is starting to open here. You see this crack starting to open before our very eyes. comes out wet to start with because it's been crushed and conveyed, but it hasn't been squeezed. So what you're looking at right here is misleading. We'll see what it looks like once we really get going. Oh. And once you get going, you can see how this press cake has been squeezed to smithereens. We might try double pressing this material, that is run this uh, press tape down here through a second time, but um, this is looking pretty good. Typical of uh, oil seeds like this, most of the oil is coming out in the last 20% uh, of the screen. We're just squeezing air out down here and finally getting it packed tight enough to get some oil out at the discharge. Uh, we have started a time test, we're collecting oil in this bucket. And press cake, we emptied this one out. We get press cake here, and with that, we're gonna uh, we're uh, only a minute and a half into our test, but uh, we'll get the pounds per hour, kilos per hour, and the amount of oil yield. How many? What percent of this uh, comes out as oil, and how much comes out as press cake? We're eight minutes into the uh, test, and dump the rest of our sample in there. It's a steady operation. We're getting a, a steady uh, flow of oil and um, steady uh, cake coming out. Cake is coming out all the way around the cone. Got some wide slots on the screen here. And um, the resistor teeth are here. They stir the material up, so I usually get a little more flow on oil from this side of the press. In fact, I usually have them turn the press around, so the only side I film is this side. In that first pressing, we got about 30% to come out as oil, and we got about 120 pounds an hour to go through the press at low speed the way it is. Anyway, we're going to try double pressing. We're taking the press cake and going to dump it into the press and try again. You got some more. There we go. Okay, we're pushing this out already. I see some oil, but I suspect that's from the material that was left in the press from our first pressing. So we'll let it stabilize for a while. Okay, we're ready to start our test. 
very little oil coming out now and go. We started up our second pressing press. Uh, you can see the material in here. It's not bridging. So um, that's a good sign. Still getting a little residual oil out. And uh, press cake coming out like it did before, nice and uniformly all the way around. And Blaze is going to crank the air wide open on the regulator. If we were 80, we might get a little over 100 psi. That air is what pushes the cone shut here. Might be a little bit of difference. Looking at this side of the press. Kick coming out. I'm not sure I see any down here at the bottom. Um, and the steam and oil. As valuable as the oil is, it might be worthwhile doing this. Especially if you only needed one press to do it. Get a second pressing after you did the first pressing. There's our test area over there where we were. Here's a press, twin screw press, getting ready for shipment to Canada, I think. For, um, here's a part of the screw department. And small press screw being worked on back there. Uh, lighting probably laying around here. And we've got a lot of screws going on, lighting for shafts and a bigger screw and more screws um, conical shaft, shaft screw and screws going in here we have the initial machining of a shaft of a screw before we really get going on welding flights and conical transition to it More presses uh, ready to go, and we're getting into the assembly area. There's a big 30-inch press, I think, 24, 24-inch. 24 yeah, there's some 30-inches back there, and uh, assembling a cone onto a press here. One that's further along here. This one. They're trying to get it going. 